Hello there. Welcome to my pin playlist on my YouTube channel. Some of you may be coming from my traditional shaving playlist. Some of you may be coming from a couple of musical instrument and uh, music, singing, playing playlists. Uh, but wherever you're coming from, thank you for joining me here in my pen playlist. Uh, this is a newer playlist uh, and it's to uh, just talk about and review something else that I love very well and that's a good pen. Ever since I was 12, 14, I've had a kind of fascination with pens. Uh, Part of it, I think, was that I used to have aspirations of being an author. When I was young, I used to write. I took creative writing classes in school, any chance I could get them. Uh, and I wrote short stories and all kinds of things like that all the time. Uh, and a pen was something that was important to me. I, I used disposables or whatever I could get, but I always was on the lookout for a pen that I liked, one that I thought I could use and let that pen kind of be like a good friend, an old friend or whatever. Uh, and uh, I've owned quite a few pretty cool pens in that time. And I recently... For about 15 years or so, I stayed away from pens. I have some nicer pens, but I had so many problems with nerve damage from diabetes, uh, later on carpal tunnel, uh, that kind of thing. The arthritis is starting to set in now the last couple of years. And uh, it was painful to ride. But I kept looking over at my pens and my pen cup, and they kept kind of calling to me like an old friend saying, hey dude, why don't you ever use us anymore? And so I would carry a pen with me everywhere I went so that when I write, have to write something, it'll be a nice pen, why not? I had them, that kind of deal. And I was on uh, one of the shaving forums, and they have a a place, a sub form there for uh, fountain pens and fine writing instruments, that kind of thing. And so I started kind of looking on there and I saw a link to the Fountain Pen Network and Fountain Pen Geeks, which is one that I'm really active on right now. And uh, started looking at fountain pens and fell in love with them, got me a couple of cheap ones and you know, they write wonderfully well uh, very comfortable no pressure you don't have to choke up on the pen that kind of deal just beautiful pens and so my interest is kind of I've been interested in fountain pens for about a year a year now and my interest in pens in general has been uh, sparked again and so this channel is just to share uh, the pens that I have or pens that I might get in the future uh, and they, they'll be everything from fountain pens to ball points and gels and roller balls and uh, from stuff you can buy at Walmart to stuff that you have to buy at a, on the pen websites or at a pen store or a good pen shop or, or something like that uh, just pens that I think are uh, good for the money uh, I won't be you won't be seeing me reviewing a two or three or four hundred dollar pen they're just not in my budget uh, I'm a user of pens and I like to get a bit of bang for my buck so to speak but now that brings me to uh, the pen that I'm gonna review today and if you're if you like fountain pens if you like ballpoint pens if you like pens in general uh, I hope that there will be something on this 
playlist that you will find useful and entertaining, informative, and, and just uh, maybe you can just share a bit of enthusiasm uh, with me about the pens that we use every day. And this pen is actually kind of expensive for me. Uh, it they're generally about eighty dollars new from what I can gather. But I found this pen and its fountain pen counterpart at a local thrift store for ten bucks. That's five bucks a pen. And these pens are pristine. They look like they've never been used by anybody. If I had not had a empty cartridge, almost empty cartridge in this pen, and uh, if I had not flushed out the fountain pen and knew that there was ink in that nib, I would have swore that they'd never been used. So I think I got a really fantastic deal, and we're going to look at the ballpoint version today. And it is... The Lamy Studio Ballpoint. And it is absolutely lovely. Let's start, look at the pen. Uh, the cap has a chrome tip. It has a little circle design in the top. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that this is Lamy's designation of ballpoint. Um, the fountain pen has this same chrome top, but there's no design whatsoever on it. So we have a chrome tip, Lamy, and I guess that's a white on the side of the cap, the barrel of the cap. It is chrome tip, and then a a matte or brushed or semi-gloss maybe a black barrel it narrows here and widens to the center and then begins to narrow back down and we have the center doesn't have any kind of band or anything on it it just joins right there at the center and it comes to a tip a chrome tip to the barrel uh, I kind of a, a flat top cigar shape maybe to me it's more of a uh, just a classic classy stream streamlined or graceful kind of line to it just beautiful uh, the mechanism operates wonderfully has a nice wonderful click now you heard when I went to open it I did this number here and what that basically did was loosen the pin so that when I open it you see it doesn't that's operator error if you push it back toward that it closes and opens so if you open try to open the pin wrong that's what happens that's user error there is nothing wrong with this pen and this is a very smooth operation one of the things that I can tell if a pen is just a little bit cheaper a ballpoint like this it has this kind of opening is right here where the two barrel parts of the barrel join when you do this turning you can hear it scrape inside there's none of that in this it's just nice and smooth wonderful release the pin has a good weight to it it's not super heavy but it's not super light it's got a nice um, quality type of weight and feel to it it feels wonderful in the hand it's warm uh, the finish I think has something to do with that smooth uh, it's not skinny it fits well in your hand uh, 
I'm not, I mentioned I have arthritis and nerve damage and things like that. And I'm not cramping up onto the pin trying to hold on to it. It's got a good, solid, thick barrel. It's not super thick, but it's perfect in my opinion for, for my hand and probably for the average hand. It would be absolutely perfect or close to for the uh, thickness of the pen. Just a beautiful pen. Uh, it writes wonderfully smoothly. Uh, the ink flow is lovely. Uh, we'll talk about the cartridge in it and all that here next. So, wonderful pen. Wonderful uh, writer. Beautiful design. Classy. This would be a pen that I would, if I was in an office situation and I was looking at ballpoint, uh, this would be a consideration for me if I wanted something a bit better than, you know, the junky pens that are floating around the office, or if I wanted a pen that didn't scream money, 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 but it's quietly you know showed that it was quality and I could put in my pocket and bring out to use when I needed to and it people would see well that's a nice pen and enough understated and elegant kind of deal there's an understated uh, classiness to the pen that I think fits that really well and uh, I highly recommend if you're into ballpoint pens and you're looking for a pen that is kind of in the middle between just an everyday kind of pen and one that looks to be a step up in my opinion this is a fat step up for most pens people would carry in an office situation uh, before you get into like the big wigs that are that are uh, carrying Viscontis and and Mont Blancs and stuff like that, you know. Uh, this is a just a good quality working man's pen that will get the job done with class. And it's beautiful. So, all right. God bless you. And we'll move on next to the cartridge system this pen uses. The pen comes apart for refill. You just pull the top off. It unscrews. And I use the M16 cartridge from Lamy. This is a black medium point. And if you look at it, it's got a little nib here, a little nub whatever you want to call it and you the pin comes with this you just get this you don't get this so you have to hang on to this but if you look it's got a little plastic insert I don't know if you can see down in there or not with a little hole and that piece fits into that hole and then you just simply take it and push it down into the pin screw it down tight and I never really looked I'm gonna look and see I don't see anything in the body of this cap that would attach in any special kind of way so in my opinion like most pins of this design you've got these little grooves or teeth and you just press the cap down onto it and you're back in business so this is a medium point pin uh, it uh, flows really well it writes really well uh, I learned it from uh, fountain pens to like a lighter touch and I came back to my ballpoints 
and tried some of the ones that I have that are nice with a much much lighter touch and you can get away if you have a good ballpoint with a very light touch uh, but it has to be a good pen and the, it's not quite as comparable as a fountain pen but much more comfortable once you learn uh, to write with a fountain pen and not use a lot of pressure you can come back to some of your ball points and, and I find, found that uh, they uh, offer a similar experience as far as not having to choke them to death and press down really hard on the paper to get a good flow of ink. So uh, we will be back with a writing sample of this pen. Uh, see you in a bit. Later. All right, writing portion. We're just using a simple composition notebook I bought from Walmart. Just average, everyday, ordinary paper. This is the Lamy Studio Ballpoint. Yeah. It's using a Lamy M16M Medium point cartridge slash refill and we're just going to use the quick brown fox because that is kind of a standard the quick brown fox Jumps over the lazy dog as it would. Let's try that at speed. The quick round fox jumps over the lazy. Dog. Wonderful. No skips, no jumps. Nice and smooth. A pen writes wonderfully well. Ink flows really well. Uh, the line of the pen, the uh, point is supposed to be a medium point. Uh, to me, this is a really fine medium point. Uh, which I like some of the fine points in a ballpoint sometimes there's not enough ink on the page and it seems kind of thin and difficult for me to read uh, a lot of times a medium point is a bit too much uh, this is a nice compromise between the two uh, it's a nice uh, legible type of ink uh, and point so that you can write even very small at times very small at times and it's perfectly legible uh, perfectly uh, readable beautiful no pressure uh, or very little pressure is needed to make the ink flow you don't have to you know put a death grip on the pen it's nice and fat and fits your pen uh, your hand really well and just just a lovely lovely pen all right that's been my review of the Lamy studio ballpoint pen if the features and quality of this pen this pen appeal to you Highly recommend it. All right, uh, thank you. Please subscribe, comment, and uh, 
be a part of this playlist, this channel. And I thank you so much. God bless you, and I'll talk to you later.